This is regarding in the our computer system. Okay. Let's start like today's class. Basically, you know, so many developers or so many people don't know um, what is the front end, what is the back end, what is the technologies we need to use front end, and what is the technologies we need to use in back end. These are the concepts today we will talk about. And uh, actually, layer approach. Layer approach also will talk. What is layer approach? Layer approach. Layer actually in the entire application we have it three four types of layer. One is first layer, second layer, second type of layer, three tier layer, second tier, first tier, two tier, and three tier, and entire. Layer, layer approaches. Entire we are using and writing the microservices. Services. We will talk about this. Don't worry. First tier and two tier also we will talk about. Today we will talk about three tier architecture. Then how to use in real time. Then what is the front end technologies? What is the back end technologies? And what is the DB? Maybe maybe based on your company policy or client requirement. For instance, three tier architecture, always talking about presentation logic layer. This is the front end. It's called a presentation logic layer. That if you name only if you're seeing presentation, you're presenting whatever you want. For example, in the hotel is there. In the hotel, backend people are cooking so many foods like different items with the different flowers. Whereas in front end, what they will do, they will serve you, serve the table, serve to the table. Okay. Same way, presentation logic layer. They are developing, for example, something in the back end, they are developing the presentation logic layer, they have to so. PLL means presentation logic layer. Back end. For example, this is nothing but a front. Front and this is back end. What is a back end is nothing but a combination of business logic layer. Business logic layer and plus uh, database. This is nothing but a data layer or data. Okay. Business logic layer is a combination of service layer. Or you can say service data access layer. This is the database. This database, data access layer will interacting with the database. Then get the data from the database and give it to the service. Here controller will be there. You can think like later. That is the controller. Then controller to presentation logic layer. And first you are calling to the service. Service to data access layer. Data access layer talk to the DB and get the data. And give it to the service. Do some transformation and give it to the presentation logic layer. This is the presentation logic layer. Is nothing but uh, you can say front end business logic layer data base is a back end. Now, first doubt is presentation logic layer. What are the technologies we need to learn? That means front end. Front end, you have to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. R, Node.js, R, AngularJS, R, React.js. <clears throat> if you want to become a front-end developer or you want to become a presentation logic layer developer, then you have to use either Node.js or AngularJS or React.js. 80% of using React. If you're seeing like Facebook, 
and Twitter all are using React. Angular 10 percentage, I can say, or 15 percentage, 5 percentage on what is. Okay, then now, if you want to become a front end developer, what and all you need to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, plus Node.js, R, AngularJS, R, ReactJS. Now, up to here, are you guys clear, right? Anyone have any doubts? Uh, no, it's clear. Okay. Okay. Good. Secondly, service layer. If you want to develop a service layer, you can use EJB R Spring R Spring. Now EJB anyway, it's an elephant power. Now not maintaining the EJB limit. Spring anyway, they are using, but nowadays, what is the percentage of applications they are writing? Almost 5 to 10 percent. Now all are using Spring Boot, 85 to 90 percentage are using Spring Boot, 5 to 10 percent are using Spring, 1 to 5 percent are using EJB to develop a business logic layer or service layer. Now, if it is a you know, uh, anyway, you don't need to learn this one. This one, you can learn about some topics. This is a fully popular because now all are using while developing a, any business logic layer or you want to become a backend developer, 100% so you should know in and out about Spring Boot. Second, third, second, th third concept is data access layer. Data access layer talk about data access layer talk about access the data from the database. That name only data access layer. Data access layer, which technologies you need to use only JDBC, Hibernet, JPA. Top link, but JDBC is a older version. You don't need to learn this one. Top link also nowadays not using either Hibernate or JPA. You have to use Hibernate 15 to 20 percent is project are using now. JPA almost 80 to 85 percent is projects are using now. Data access layer, what type of technology you use? Either JDBC, Hibernate, or JPA, or Toplink. Now you can say, yes, you are using Hibernate, or using JPA. You can tell, don't tell both, okay? They are not using both. They can use either one. JDBC, maybe sometime, sometime maybe older project they might use. This is also older project. If it is a new project, always using Hibernate or JPA. Now, now coming to the database. Database are different types of databases. What is the databases basically? Okay, maybe this, maybe I'll draw this here. Diagram. Okay. Database, two types of databases is there. One is SQL, second one is no SQL. Some projects or some clients, they want MySQL is the DB, or Oracle is the DB, or PostGIS is the DB, or uh, SQL Server is the DB. These are the SQL, structured query language. No SQL means not only SQL. That means you can store in the object, JSON format, text format. Then they are using MongoDB. Or Cassandra. Or DynamoDB. 
dynamo d now for instance your for, for instance in our class we are talking about mysql d no need to worry about this and all if you know mysql you can use dialect you can convert all queries to your oracle query or postgres query or sql server but MongoDB and Cassandra and uh, Dynamo, this Dynamo DB is coming from the AWS and MongoDB is coming from the MongoDB people. Cassandra is an open source, you can use if you want. But uh, our is only structured data, right? We don't have like JSON data and all. We need to store the data in the database while formatting of JSON. You need to use MongoDB and uh, you know, Cassandra and Dynamo. But we have a structured data. Then maybe we can go with uh, my skill deep. Now, if you know this all technologies, then you will become a full stack developer. If you want to become a full stack developer, what and all you need to learn HTML, CSS plus JavaScript and ReactJS or HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js or HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Angular. This is a front end technology coming to the back end. Back end, maybe you might some people learn Spring Boot plus JPA. Some people will learn Spring Hibernate. Some people will learn Spring JPA. After the data access layer done, now database MySQL, you can learn. Then you will become a full stack developer. If you want to become a full stack developer, what and all technologies you need to use? HTML, CSS, JavaScript plus ReactJS and Spring Boot plus JPA plus MySQL. This is a one package. This is nothing but a full stack developer. I want to become only backend developer. Forget it this way you will become a backend developer. I want to become only front-end developer. Forget this. This only you can learn. Now, <clears throat> I'll stop here. Anyone have any questions on this? Okay, maybe I'll, I'll ask you, Rupert, okay? If you not, don't have any questions, maybe I'll ask you. Hey, Sachin, good morning. Uh, Sachin, I want to become a front-end developer. Could you please suggest which technology you want to use? Such HTML, HTML oh. and CSS. That's it. And JavaScript. Again? Plus either Node.js no uh, no or Angular Dress, React Dress. Anyone? Okay. Yeah. In this. Good. Yeah. yeah. Mm, second session done. You know. Hi Priya, good morning. Priya, I want to become a full stack developer. I don't know about anything. So can you please suggest, suggest me uh, in Java, what type of technology I need to go to, you know, learn. I want to learn like me. Hello. Hello, Priya. Okay, maybe she is not able to. Hi, Sveta. Good morning. Can you please suggest me, like, you know, I want to become a full stack developer. Which type of technology you want to use? Uh, sir, typical full stack developer, there is a combination of friend, uh, friend no, I, I, your voice is, your voice is, you know, your voice is feasible. Can you please speak a bit louder? Uh, like, uh, if you want to become a full stack developer, we need to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ReactJS, or uh, Angular. And if you come to the like service layer, I mean mm -hmm. service logic. Uh, okay. It, there we have to learn uh, Is Spring like Boot? JPA uh -huh. or Spring Boot, Spring Boot, okay. uh, Spring and all. And like uh, EJP, you said, as you know. And uh, mm -hmm. like, like SQL or MySQL, so that are the best connectivities. Okay. Data we should know, like uh, MySQL or uh, MongoDB. Mm -hmm. This is a MongoDB, yeah, MongoDB NoSQL database. You don't need to learn, just like you know, 
Uh, some people will come and will ask, okay, it became a you know software engineer, then might ask, mm -hmm. like, you know, which one is good. Then you can suggest Spring Boot, React.js, plus Oracle or MySQL. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I think so. All all people are good, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, one more, uh, maybe I want to ask yeah. so. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Tarun. Um, Tarun, I want to become a you know only uh, backend developer. What type of technology can you to use? Well, sir, good morning. Very good morning. Back -end, uh, we can learn uh, Spring Boot uh, JPA from my skills. Good, good. Okay, great. Okay, okay yeah. Okay. Uh, now I think so. I I, I think so. I, I, all are following me. Maybe you all got got to know what is the front end, what is the back end, and uh, what is our layer approach? Okay, this all will be there in the YouTube. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll create a one channel and I'll put it in the, in the today end of the day. Entire like you know life you will get to know like you know uh, it's there in the YouTube. Then you can check it like you know from where you forgot right. Maybe you may miss this type of things. Okay, then this is the <clears throat> front end, back end, and uh, in, uh, you know data uh, databases. Okay. Or maybe instead of like, you know, uh, business logic layer, write it here, business logic layer, you can change your service layer. More meaningful. Service, service side, right? that means what? It's providing the service to the presentation logic layer. You can write here business logic layer, data access layer, data layer anyway, data layer, or data base layer. Anything is okay. Hmm? This is the three tier architecture. Now, now, maybe I'll stop here. Mm, one minute.